Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited to be sitting down filming today's video. Today, we are going to be doing a one brand tutorial. I used to do these all the time on my channel when I first started and I haven't done one in a hot minute. So I went down to Kmart and I picked up a whole bunch of OXX makeup. They have a new studio line, which is really fancy. They have a whole bunch of different things. And basically, I'm going to do a full face of OXX, ma OXX makeup. Oh my goodness, that is a tongue twister and a half. So basically, this brand you can pick up at Kmart in Australia. Um, it, it is a Kmart in-house brand, so you cannot pick it up anywhere else. You can pick it up online and in store. And it retails from anywhere between 2 to $8, I think, is the most expensive item. So they have a whole bunch of stuff. This is only just scratching the surface of the things that they have, which is super, super exciting. So I have mostly their studio range here, but a couple products of their normal line thrown in here and there. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to test these out. I have been playing a little bit with them, swatching stuff, and I do have a foundation and a concealer that is a little bit too dark for me. So I am gonna have to modify that a little bit by bringing in some of my own products but for the most part this is an entire face of OXX cosmetics and I am super super excited so let's get straight on into today's video so like I said I do have a whole bunch of stuff from this brand so it is called OXX studio and then the normal packaging is the OXX cosmetics in white so yeah we're gonna be using all of these products today to do our entire face so let's get straight on into it uh, and I also forgot to say in the intro what's up if you're new to my channel my name's Courtney Marie and I always forget to introduce myself which is such a shame alright so for primer I did pick up a couple of options from this range so I got the OXX studio hydrating primer their repair and protect primer and then this brightening primer as well. So this I think was the most expensive item that I bought. This was $8 and I think the rest was like $4 to $6 uh, depending on what it is. So I think I'm going to take a mixture of the hydrating and brightening primer. This repair and protect primer is more of a silicone-y type of primer and I almost dropped it. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and prime the face. Alright, so this is the primer on. It did definitely give me like a really nice healthy glow to the skin, which I think is from the brightening primer. There is a slight residue left on my hands, not quite oily, but it is like sort of like a slippery residue. Um, this particular primer has a really odd smell. It's not like a bad smell. It just smells like plant, like a really heavily plant smell um, it did say that it had like a bunch of extracts and vitamin E in this primer so that might be why it smells like plant um, but let's go ahead and move on to the foundation so moving on to foundation this is what it looks like again it does say OXX studio on it this is in the shade 01 porcelain which is the lightest shade they had available and this is it swatched on the back of my hand uh, it has oxidized a little bit but as you can see it is way too dark for my skin tone and it certainly is not porcelain whatsoever. They did have a few different options for foundation. I picked this one because it looked the lightest in the bottle um, and clearly there is a big difference there. So I also picked up this liquid illuminator which is in the same bottle. Uh, it is glass which is amazing because I think these were only $6.00. So this liquid illuminator is in the shade 01 Cosmo and it is absolutely stunning. They also had a beautiful one that would be suitable for deeper skin tones there that was like a really nice bronze illuminator. So I'm going to mix these two together as well as my Freedom 
uh, Pro Matte Longwear Foundation. This is a really, really pale foundation and I just love mixing it in with things that are a little bit too dark for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a foundation concoction for today's video. So this is the foundation blended out. I did go ahead and add a little bit of my own concealer. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in the shade Light Pale. I am now just going to powder my face. This is the OXX Studio Finish Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just using a Real Techniques powder brush for this. face is looking like. I am going to go in with blush. This is the OXX Studio Baked Blush in the shade 02 Apricot. I have used this once before. I absolutely adore it. They had a whole bunch of different shades at my local Kmart and the formula is really similar to the Milani Baked Blushes and the packaging sort of looks like MAC. So it feels really luxurious and really nice. So this shade is a really subtle shade, um, but they did have more deeper colours. It does come off a little bit lighter than what it looks like in the pan, but it's just a really nice shimmery flush of colour. Alright, so I am just going to contour, and to do that I'm taking the OXX Studio Contour Kit. This one is in the shade Light, and it has two matte colours and a contour shade. the face I'm just taking this OXX cosmetics highlighting kit this is from their normal range um, I'm not sure if this range is going to be like phased out of Kmart and the studio range is like the new stuff that's replacing the old stuff but I couldn't find like a highlighting kit pale enough for my skin tone in the new range so I did pick up this one and I'm just taking this shade here So this is a really nice, sort of subtle highlight, glow from within type of look. I really, really like this shade. Okay, so moving on to eyebrows, I am just going to take this OXX Studio Brow Kit in the shade Dark. So they did have quite a few options for brows at my local Kmart. They had like precision brow pencils, they had little kits. Um, and then you could buy the brow powder by itself. This little kit I think was $4 and it comes with a brow pencil, a little brow tool that is a brow brush and a spoolie and then it also comes with a brow powder. So I am going to go ahead and fill in my brows. So now that our brows are slayed, I am just going to take this contour stick and highlight underneath my brow bone. I'm just taking a buffing brush. 
and I'm just gonna buff that in. So it looks crazy now, but now we're gonna go in and prime our eyes. I actually tested out the OXX concealer as an eye primer because it's way too dark for my skin tone, and I absolutely love it. It just makes my uh, eyeshadow stick blend amazingly. It's just awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes using this concealer. As you can see, it is quite dark. But we're just going to go over the top with powder anyways. Okay, so now that our eyes are primed, I'm going to dip back into this contour kit. And I'm just going to take this contour shade and start feathering it through my crease. just as a transition shade before we move on to eyeshadow. I just kept building up that bronzer through my crease and now we have a really nice warm tone transition shade ready for the eyeshadow. So I have this little eyeshadow quad. This is in the shade Lily um, and it just comes with four eyeshadows. These all are, these are all shimmer shadows. Uh, so we're going to work with this and we also have three little single shadows as well. So I have this one in the shade Abigail, this one in the shade Maybell, and I also have a matte black in the shade Mia. So I think the single shadows were $3 and the palette was $4. Um, so we're just going to work with it and see what look we can come up with. So, yeah. So I'm just dipping into this colour right here. This is on a e.l.f. blending eye brush. And I'm just going to start feathering this through my, just below where I put that other colour. And I think I'm going to dip between these two here. to really just start building up the color a little bit. So I just took the same bronzer and put it underneath the lower lash line and now I'm gonna go in with this black and just place it right in the outer corner and just flick it up uh, just to the lash line just to add a little bit of depth and dimension and then we're gonna go in with a shimmery color all over the lid and hopefully we can pull this look together. The shadows aren't performing as amazingly as I wanted them to but it is a pretty good value for the price. Like it's a little bit more intense on this side so I'll have to fix that up. Um, but I am now going to dip in to this highlighter palette and I'm going to get this gold colour on my brush and then I'm going to take the OXX setting spray wet the brush and then I'm just going to go in again pick up a little bit more product and I'm going to apply that to my lids So now for mascara, this is the OXX Studio Define Volumizing Mascara in 01 Black. This is what the one looks like. Oh, I like this mascara. I have naturally really long lashes. And I love finding ones that really just push my lashes up and hold the curl. These are super volumin voluminous lashes. I love this mascara. 
I love the fact that it is that it's in a tube because it's like sort of weird but it feels squishy and I really want to just squeeze this tube but I have a feeling that all the mascara is just gonna like come out of it so so the wand was a little bit hard to use on my lower lash line but other than that I think the eye makeup turned out really nice the shadows themselves didn't perform as amazingly as I wanted them to but the bronzer and the highlight worked amazingly as eyeshadow the eyeliner I love and the mascara I love as well so I'm just gonna set my face they had a matte and a natural finish setting spray at the Kmart I went to this is the matte version so let's set the face hopefully our mascara does not drip okay that is a really aggressive mister So it's absorbing really quickly into the face, which is something that I really like. Um, I hate when setting sprays sit on top of the face for a really long time and you just look like oily and disgusting. Um, and the last thing to do is lips. So as most of you know by now, if you watch my channel, I hate lipstick. I have a whole bunch of it, but I just hate how gross it feels on my lips like how drying it feels because I have extremely dry lips I swear I like suffer from some sort of dry lip condition because no matter what time of year it is whether it's like summer or winter or whatever my lips are dry I have like a proper conditioning treatment that I put on my lips like every day but they're still dry anyways I seen these really really cute lip tints uh they're in like a cardboard box they have the shade name on the top they could not be more adorable if they tried but they are more adorable it's like this really weird jelly type of texture um and when you apply it it's just such a like rich moisturizing feel And it tints your lips, which is amazing. This is probably like my favorite find from OXX Cosmetics. And I want to go back and get like every single shade that they make because... Like it just, it complements your makeup without wearing a lipstick, without being too heavy or drying or anything. It's just like still, you get the color, you get like your lips but better but you still are comfortable honestly I feel a million dollars right now I think my makeup has turned out so much better than what I thought it was going to be for all of this stuff it was around like $80 $90 for everything here and for a full face of makeup $80 is not bad whatsoever and I'm talking like I bought three primers, I bought a liquid illuminator, a setting spray, contour sticks, three eyeshadows, an eyeshadow palette, brow kit. Like I bought the whole shebang. I bought everything. So my thoughts, um, some of the products didn't work out as well as I thought that they would. But like this face is a really nice face. I would definitely leave the house like this. You know, I'm going to film more videos after this and I'm not going to redo my makeup. Like, I think this looks really nice. Standout products for me. The Liquid Illuminator, which looks like this. The Brow Kit was amazing. The Lip Tint was amazing. And the Highlight and Contour Palette was amazing. The Mascara was amazing. The Setting Spray, I'll have to try with my everyday makeup to see if it really makes a difference or really improves the longevity of my makeup but these things were between two and eight dollars you cannot argue with that like it gets my stamp of approval head on down to Kmart pick up some of this makeup I am a part of this group on Facebook called the makeup social there's like hundreds and hundreds of members so a lot of you would probably be a part of this group um, and a lot of people drag this makeup line all the time saying that it's only for beginners, like it's really bad quality, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm a makeup lover and I wouldn't use it only if you're a beginner. And they sort of put people down that use 
these products. And I'm going to say, like, go ahead and put me down for using a product that costs $2. But at the end of the day, when you spend, like, $40 on your lipstick and I spent $2 on mine and I feel a million dollars, I feel pretty and beautiful and whatever, then I'm, like, I really don't care. My goal in life and my motto for my channel is I want to test out as much cheap makeup as I can because I really struggled finding my place in the beauty community. You know, I'm not like a big influencer. I don't have that many followers. But even watching YouTube as like a social thing, as being a part of the YouTube community, a part of the beauty community, purchasing makeup, being a consumer, I find it hard to find my place because everyone talks about this eyeshadow palette and this eyeshadow palette is $80 and you need to have it. This foundation is $60, it's $80 for this foundation and you need to have it. Like, I'm not about that life. My favorite foundation cost me $8. My favorite concealer is $5. My favorite powder is $8. I am all about cheap makeup that works. If I can look, you know, I'm not saying that this makeup is the best makeup I've ever done in my life or it's the best makeup anyone has ever done. I'm saying if I can feel beautiful on a small price tag, that is all that matters. I am rambling way too much, but I really appreciate you guys watching this video and if you've stuck to the end through my rambling, then kudos to you. So yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mum, tell your auntie, tell everyone. Hit that subscribe button because it really helps me out and I want to get as many subscribers as I can so that we can all be cheap people together and spend as little money as possible. So if you want to hear more of my thoughts about consumerism and makeup and how much it costs and all that jazz, then give this video a thumbs up because I would definitely be happy to do like a sit down, talk, talking video um, about it. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I love you.